Welcome to Endeavor TV with the best and digital MyCloud. This is a little um, box. Well, this is not a box, this is a real cloud or actually a pillow, you could say. Um, but the best and digital MyCloud is a brand new device by best and digital, which is kind of like a network attached solution or network attached solid, uh, storage. Um, so it looks like a regular external hard drive. But what you can do with it is not only share your or save your um, backup, have you all your pictures, videos, music, for example, on this um, box at home, but uh, there is an iOS and Android app um, and also you can access it via browser. So if you have a Blackberry or Windows phone, you can access it really just by logging on. You can access your uh, videos, pictures, music, or anything you actually uh, saved on there. Of course, also apps or anything like that. Um, on this MyCloud, it's a personal cloud storage, um, so even um, f uh, features like the Dropbox says that you can share a folder, for example, with other people. Um, that's possible also here. And since we're already uh, talking about Dropbox, it's also um, possible with the Western Digital MyCloud to just have a folder, for example, your work folder, and share that with Dropbox, share that with SkyDrive, share that with Box.net, or um, all kinds of other um, online companies. Um, Western Digital is obviously working uh, on more and more and more to add them um, um, to the list or featured list. Um, so you can really just share um, your personal storage from here to there. Um, um, with some data that you would want. But what the awesome thing about this is, at um, I think Dropbox you have to pay, uh, I think 90 bucks a year to get 100, and 100 gigs more or something like that. Here you get 450 bucks, two terabytes. That's 2048 gigabytes. Um, so 20 times the space for um, really not that much money. Of course, you still have to pay the power bill for this, but it's still power is still not that expensive that it would be um, worth it to um, pay really uh, Google or any other company with Google Drive or Microsoft with SkyDrive to just have all the same features um, at home or on, uh, in the cloud that you have here. And also um, here you know what you have in the cloud, in your own cloud, um, and you know that only you are reading it and nobody else can read it. And if they would, you can just unplug it and then it's gone. Um, so no server somewhere has your data, your personal pictures, your, I don't know, naked pictures maybe, who knows what. Um, so this is the Western Digital MyCloud. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. And after that, we will of course plug it in, not in this video, and show you guys how it works with the apps and everything. Um, but then also you can just check out the video somewhere here. I will um, put it in uh, so you guys can uh, see how it really works. I will uh, fly around also uh, to different places since really it's amazing that I can just tell all my grandparents here. You can check in this folder um, to see the, my holiday pictures or I can tell my parents um, at home that uh, you can. I shot a video, uh, check it out here and you don't, you don't have to put it up on YouTube and share it there or something like that. You can just really put it all on your MyCloud and if you, your internet is fast enough, that's of course also important that your upstream is fast enough, but nowadays it's not that expensive and um, then that's really a cool solution here by Western Digital and it's not only available with two terabytes as I said, but there's also one, two, three and four terabytes. Four terabytes are amazing um, and that version should be about 250 to 300 I think in the price, so that's still not that expensive. So inside the box obviously we have a power supply. This is a European power supply. It gives out um, 1.5 amps at 12 volts. Um, then we have uh, adapter since we are in Europe for the UK for the power supply. There's no US power adapter, but of course in the US you would have the, that adapter inside. Then we have a network um, cable here. Um, yeah, nothing special there, but yeah, it's a network cable. Um, but you need it since it's only possible to plug this device into your router right away. And um, so if you don't have a router, you have to buy one. That's of course um, not ideal if you don't have one, but usually at least uh, one port is empty on your Wi-Fi router, for example. Um, so let's see, we have a quick installation guide and it's a really quick installation guide since it's only three pages and I will guide you guys through actually here what you have to do um, in my next video when I will set it up and show you guys all the features of the software. Uh, for the desktop you should download the Western Digital MyCloud app. So just go to wd.com slash wdmycloud slash apps 
or on mobile um, for iOS there is WD My Cloud and WD Photos and also for Android and the other operating systems are not supported yet but maybe in the future and yeah well as you can see that's not too much to do here actually it's easy um, and actually what would be interesting I think for me is um, dum -dum 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 how you can access it via the browser, but I think I just have to find it out by myself because that would be also important. Um, but yeah, maybe in the future, in the next video then. So, of course, the most important part is the WD MyCloud itself. I still like to call Western Digital Western Digital. WD is not that much shorter to say. So it's white. I know there's no different colors right now available as far as I know, um, but white is kind of nice. Other nasty ones are also nice. I have here Synology for example, um, and you can see it's quite small, light, has this nice, um, well, Western Digital uh, My Book design, I would say, but it's called My Cloud. Obviously now we have one LED at the front and um, there's all kinds of fan vents here. There is I think an active fan inside or should be, but there's mainly, I think the hard drive in here. So I don't see an active fan right now. Um, I will maybe try in the next video also, or in one video to just take it apart to see what's inside. On the bottom we have here uh, four rubber um, uh, feet. There's also a power cable here, Kensington lock, um, LAN port and USB 3 and also reset. A hole, a hard reset, so that's also quite nice to do. And now again, a little bit of a size comparison to, you could say, a competitor. Um, Synology, this is my old NAS, so as you can see here, it's um, a lot bigger. From the front, it doesn't look much like that, but if you look at it like this, um, you can see now it's really bigger or longer at least, since there's a, a real fan inside, wasn't that loud, um, but otherwise, um, from the back you can see it has a little bit more ports but this one USB 3.0 port is also quite handy for the Synology uh, for the Western Digital um, since you can add external storage um, so you can just buy another uh, MyBook for example by Western Digital 4 terabytes and then you have 6 terabytes here with this or if you have a 4 terabyte and you buy another 4 terabyte and you have 8 terabyte that you can use with your Western Digital MyCloud or if just a friend brings over a USB um, hard drive and you want to share it with everybody at home uh, because you have a lot of people in your office Office, for example you can just plug it in here and I think even with USB sticks that should work so that's quite nice for example to just share your presentation right away and um, for example also to your mobile device because that's also an interesting uh, thing to do and I think you can even send pictures from your mobile device to here but we will all try that out in the next video so this was the best and little my cloud and um, don't forget to subscribe to Neville TV for more videos and as I said before just check out my full review coming up soon and the software features for this device and a lot of other devices here in the channel are also interesting so you should check it out.